What's up fam, this your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you niggas today. Bronx rapper Lil TJ was shot seven times in New Jersey and now many people are speculating about the reason why. Many people can't seem to fathom why Lil TJ was hit up. But since you niggas are confused, since you niggas are scratching your head about this whole situation, I'ma help you niggas out. I'ma tell you exactly why Lil TJ was hit up. First of all, Lil TJ is a gang member. So when you tell me been hit up multiple times outside of Chipotle, the first thing I'm thinking, gang violence. Yes, he's a rapper. Yes, he has money, but you still got ops. The same people you was beefing with when you was broke. The same people you had problems with when you was in the hood is the same people that won't hesitate to take you out if they see you in public. So this is a possibility that this might just be gang violence. Second, many people don't have very good things to say about Lil TJ. He messed over a lot of people. He scammed people. He stole from people. He robbed people. Those are well-known facts. So when you tell me he hit up, this might be a possibility of somebody holding an old grudge against them. Think about it this way. You do somebody dirty. You might not meet your karma soon, but the karma is coming. They can get your location. They can see where you at. And they might come exact revenge against you, and it might be met with violence. So that's a possibility as well. And third, Lil TJ is a rapper. He has money. Everybody knows a rapper is a dangerous job. Think about it. Rappers are getting taken out left and right. Every other week I'm reporting about some rapper getting taken up out of here. And Lil TJ almost got taken up out of here. He's no different. You gotta look at it this way. You're a rapper. You got money. A lot of people is jealous and envy of you. You come from poverty and now you got 30,000 on your neck. You come from poverty and now you're sleeping with some of the baddest women. You come from poverty. Now you got music videos with over 10 million views on YouTube. If I'm just in the hood a regular degular, I'm pissed off. You gonna come around me with your neck shining? You gonna come around me with that Instagram model? And I'm laying next to a 300 pound whale? You don't think I have a problem with that? So you gotta look at it that way as well. So think about this. It's not that just rappers are getting taken up out of here. It's the manner in which it's happening. They ain't like they getting caught at the club. They ain't getting taken out in broad daylight, at malls. Anywhere a rapper, you see a rapper, his life is in danger. Cause I think a lot of people would rather crash out. They don't mind throwing their life away if they can get a famous rapper up out of here. They do it as sport. I could be notoriety. You see what happened to Nipsey Hussle? Broad daylight. So that's why if I'm a rapper, I'm having security with me. And I'm not just talking about one person neither. I've been seeing these rappers talking about they got security. And then I look, they be having one out of shape chubby dude with them. That ain't what I'm talking about. Y'all don't need more than that. If I was a rapper, I have four security with me. I have one in the front of me, one behind me, and one person on each side of me. And if security I got on the side of me, I'll be holding their hand when I'm in public. You would think they my girlfriend. Every step I take, they got to take. We're going to be walking in unison. I'm that serious about it because you're a rapper. You got revenue coming in. You're taking care of a lot of people. Your life is valuable. So just having your homeboys with you, just having one or two friends with you, that's not good enough. Have trained armed security with you at all times. Because I'm looking at this little TJ situation. This could have been anything. It could have been a robbery gone bad. Somebody might have seen them shining. They might not even knew who Lil TJ was. But you seen what happened in the Bronx a few weeks ago. A rapper got took for his chain and got off. They probably tried to do Lil TJ the same way. Because a lot of people like this. I'm going to take your chain. I want what you got. That jacket look nice. Them shoes look nice. I'm going to take it from you. You make one false move. I don't mind ending it. I'm already damn bad. I'm already in a messed up position. And you going to try to fight with me? Oh, hell no. You get taken up out of here. So that's what I think. So rappers, y'all gotta move more carefully. Y'all gotta, move, every move gotta be calculated because I feel like a lot of people is willing to take you out. And when you die, the only thing's gonna happen, you gonna get some RIP on Twitter, a couple of rappers gonna shout you out, and all your label is gonna do is try to speed up a um, posthumous least album from you. That's it. Lil TJ is dead. You know what the label gonna do? Give me 12 of his best songs, we gotta get this album out of here by the summer. That's what's gonna happen because you're expendable. You're not no one special. You get taken up out of here. Your label is on a hunt trying to find somebody else to take your spot. Let's just be real. The fans are even the same way. You get taken up out of here. The fans are going to find another rapper to take your spot to fill that void. So that's why I be telling y'all rappers, don't crash out over these fans. 
We see how the fans do little dirt. Constantly trying to get him to crash out. Dirt, you gotta slide for fun. Dirt, why you ain't slid for fun? Would y'all shut the hell up and let Dirk live his life? The young brother is being successful. He feeding a lot of people. It seems like y'all just want him to crash out. The moment he crash out, all the blogs, all the fans gonna be talking about how crazy and stupid he was. So Lil TJ, take heed. And now let me give you an update about his condition. Now we knew he was in emergency surgery. We knew he got hit multiple times, but it's now being reported that he's in stable condition. His surgery went well. So I want to send my prayers out to little TJ. I want to send my prayers out to his family, and I hope he make a full recovery. I hope he don't have any long-term effects. I hope he can be able to walk, talk, and perform again because I really like this music. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on little TJ, but I want to know how you guys feel about it. Leave a comment and share this video. I'm out. Peace.